a great Polish American novelist, Jerzy Kaczynski, wrote The principle of true art is not to portray, but to evoke. This requires a moment of pause, a contract with yourself through the object you look at or the page you read. In that moment of pause, I think life expands. And really the purpose of art is to stop, to say, Make certain that when you rush through, you will not miss the moment, which you might have had, or might still have. This is Rodolfo Fanti, and welcome to Digital Clay. So this will be the study that we're gonna work upon over the next few episodes. So the best way I found over the years to learn to sculpt the human torso is to internalize a very simple structure, which is this guy here. That it looks very simple, but nailing the position, nailing the balance, and nailing the proportions, it's gonna take it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take practice. But I promise you, then going from here to a more refined structure, to a sketch, and then into a more refined piece. It's gonna be very organic. It's gonna be very intuitive. We're gonna start with the sphere. The main thing to master are the relative proportions. The relative proportions uh, simply means how long is something compared to something else, where it's positioned compared to something else. So this is what we're learning. This is what we're training in digital clay. Relative proportions and structure are way, way more important that learning anatomy in a theoretical way. So first we're going to learn the proportions, then we're going to learn the structure. So this structure we're seeing is composed actually of two, of two main ideas, and I would like you to learn to conceptualize and to feel these two structures whenever you see a figure, and it's the rib cage and the pelvis. Okay, the first thing we want to try and create this egg shape, okay? We want to try and avoid the move brush for now so slice it get something like a trim brush okay I'm using my uh, digital clay trim brush yeah we start with this kind of idea okay this area now we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the move brush we want to flatten the front area and I'll tell you why we are creating this kind of curves okay and this is something that you will just need to memorize okay, this kind of shape you will need to memorize and practice quite a bit you know to create this kind of thing And we can find the half of this shape, okay, so we'll get our, our knife and more or less, let's, get, let's mark the half here, okay, slightly below the half, okay, around this area here. That's where the egg shape starts to widen, okay, and then it goes back in. Okay, and then the top part goes back in. And now we want to use our trim brush to help out because we want to have more, we want to have clearer shapes. Okay, and so I created too much of a wedge. Uh, if you look at it from the top, this is flat. This area here which is all the sternal area is quite flat usually okay you can see that in our reference around here you can see that in this reference here okay it's usually so you can see it's usually quite flat so it goes in a little bit okay so the coastal cartilage this is the coastal cartilage goes in a little bit but for our purpose, we want to try and do it. We want to try and keep it um, a 
fairly flat. Okay, I'm gonna So now you start to see how a seemingly simple exercise is in reality already challenging to nail, you know. We want to nail these planes, okay? Because if we manage to nail these planes, then building on top of these guys is going to be fairly simple, okay? At this point, I want to clip away a tiny bit of this kind of angle okay and I want to try and match what I did uh, before So now we want to clarify a bit more what's happening in the back. We have another, so we look at from the top, we have another change of plane from here. Okay. Look at it from the top. Okay. And now we want to dig in with a knife or something like that, you know, get a normal, um, get a standard brush or whatever. So we can create now this kind of angle. See what I'm talking about. This is what we want to create. Okay. This will be this will contain our spinal structure. Okay. But that's not how we want to think, you know. Uh, and we want to keep sculptures activated. Okay, do lower. To create this kind of angle okay remember at this point we want to be quite bold okay so don't worry too much if you're making mistakes your brain is learning this shape maybe for the first time or maybe not okay so this is how we want to abstract so this is one of how so this is how we want to create these, this abstraction, okay? So it curves out a little bit and then it goes in, okay? And we can chop off this area. Let me change a bit this uh, slice. Okay. So we want to create this kind of shape and this is based. Uh, this is based exactly like in the first episode. This is based on an on an abstraction of what we have underneath our skin, basically. And I want to start to remove stuff from here. Okay. So this is the thoracic. So we are approximating our rib cage. Okay, and the bottom of the sternum, that is this little bit here, it's about, it's slightly lower than the half, than the vertical half. Okay, so this is a good approximation. Now this area here, called the costal cartilage, now this area here, it's usually wider. Okay, but everything can happen usually it's wider and I like to have a slightly curved idea okay so now look at what's happening we don't like this kind of thing we get our cream brush and we chop this like this this now something uh, which I like to do is I like to create a bit more of a shape in this area. This is what will be the coastal cartilage. So we have a bit more of three dimensionality here. This will help us when we're gonna create the abdomen area, okay? 
and this will give us a lot of interesting things a lot of interesting um, surface variation so in my reference actually I created a bit more of an abstract shape so straighter uh, we can go for that actually it's gonna be better for exemplify So at this stage, what we're doing is design, actually. And this is something very, very important in sculpture and in art. Uh, you need to develop an eye for design. We're designing shape, and these shapes need to be not only correct and fairly accurate, but they need to be appealing. So I like to create this kind of uh, little indentation to suggest what is going to be the bottom of the sternum. So as you see, I'm, I'm treating this very simple shape as a complete study in itself. First of all, this is going to help you with one of the most important things in art, which is learning to Learning to see proportions, learning to see relationship within the shapes. So the half, more or less, slightly below, slightly below, we have the stern, uh, the bottom of the stern. Okay.
So you see, I'm spending so much actually on this very simple shape. And trust me, it will help you a lot. If you nail this shape, you nailed 80% of your torso. Okay, so let's take a look at a few important pointers of this shape, okay? So from the top, we see this sort of apple or heart shape. This area, the sternal area, slightly comes down forward, slightly comes out forward. On the sides of the ribs, they're slightly rounded here. Okay, so first plane here, quite flat and then we have a sharp turn okay goes back curves and then we have another change of plane okay and then we have this v-shape which will accommodate our spinal structure it's exaggerated of course but the exaggeration and the abstraction of these shapes will help us to lay out everything on top and this is from the top, from the front, we have this sort of egg shape, okay? So slightly below the vertical half, it widens a bit, okay? And the points, the final points can go in a bit like this, okay? So we create a bit more of an angular structure. Very, very important from the side the rib cage is tilted, is slightly tilted, for, is slightly tilted, and in a neutral position. And this gives 90% of the rhythm of the figure. Okay, so you want to nail this idea, and you want to nail this rhythm. Okay, so the opening of the rib cage here has a very similar curve to the upper portion of the spine, which lies around here. Okay, so learn these relationships, okay. Learn where these shapes curves. Learn where these shapes curve, where they wrap around, okay. And you want to memorize this shape. Now the next step is going to be creating this idea. Okay, and after we do this, your whole let's call it torso mannequin, is complete. You don't need anything else. Once we have this, we can turn it into a finished study.